Welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center. And today we're looking at a 2012 Fleetwood Discovery 40X. Triple slide, 380 Cummins under her. This is a beautiful coach for a triple slide. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna check out the whole exterior, check out the compartments, and we'll jump inside and see what that has to offer. Let's give it the first four corners look. Two slide outs on the passenger side, and then you got one on the driver. Extension, your awning extension is located on that first slide so it doesn't, you know, lose any length because of the slide. It is mounted on, directly on the slide. And there is an electric door awning, outdoor TV right there also. It's a little bright on this side, so I'm gonna try to angle it so you don't see the direct sunlight. It'll probably happen. In case you were wondering, yes, we are missing a driver's side mirror. We have it on order. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be here for a couple weeks. I got a lot of people looking for this video, so I knew I had to shoot it sooner rather than later. Now let's go through all the compartments. Now we are also awaiting a new windshield. This thing, I don't know what happened. I like had a baseball thrown at it or something. But that will be in here in the next couple weeks also. Generator up front. Now, Kind of hard to get a good look at it, but it's an 8000 series and it has just under 2000 hours on it, 1988. Now we're going to start on the passenger side for your compartments. I got two compartment latches that I need to need to replace, so they're not open, but we should be able to see from the other side what's in there. Here, our first compartment, just a nice big storage area. Next one, you do have a full slide out tray that will go both ways. And then, kind of another empty bay. You could put another tray in there. It wouldn't be able to be a full length with that you know, piece of frame in there on the left. Right above that is your 32 inch outdoor Sony TV and speakers. This is one of the latches that I cannot open. Central bag system. These tires are dated 2811, coming up on 10 years old. Death. Ten gallon water heater right there. And of course you do have slide toppers for every slide and a metal cover for your main awning. It is a rear radiator, 10,000 pound hitch. Let me show you the roof. They added a third AC. Now it is a little dirty. Like I said, we haven't even had a chance to clean this up yet. As you can see, all three ACs, there is a solar panel up there, local TV antenna. And then on the driver's side, fifty amp power service, few of your batteries. Same date code on that Goodyear. More of your batteries. Now check this out: two inverters, both two thousand watts. This is the other compartment I cannot open, which is your dump station, which is gonna have an outdoor shower, gray and black flushes, sewer drainage, all that good stuff. The other side of that full pass-through storage, and then the other side of the tray, like I said, will go out both ways. And then something to point out, you have a few window awnings on here. You just grab that little lever, attach it to that, and you got yourself a nice awning for extended stays. 38.7 gallon propane tank. And a little front kind of compartment with some windshield wiper fluid. Now that is the exterior. It'll be a beautiful coach once we get a new windshield, new side mirror and clean her up a little bit. But let's check out the inside. All right guys, as we go in here, two exterior steps and then a few others to jump in. 
So you got your light controls and an outlet right in front as you walk in. And this is your first look. Let me give you a look from that little hallway on the side. Got beautiful opposing slides up front, a nice couch extension, front kitchen, very nice coach. But let's start all the way up front and we'll handle the rest here in a second. All right, so first up, let's look at the miles here. We are sitting at 42, 314.1. Over on the left, docking lights, aux start, lighting controls, 3000 series Allison, mirror controls and heater, does have a retarder there. Lights, see your air gauges, speedometer, fuel, nothing crazy. Does have a backup camera and side vision cameras. And then you do have an access point down below to get to some of the wiring. And then that's all on the dash besides what's above us. So above, a few storage compartments, TV, kind of one of your main control panels. Wind sensor on the awning, of course. Level testers, inverter controls. And inverter two is for the residential refrigerator specifically. Auto levelers, of course your three zone AC. You actually control your awnings, step cover, and sl front slides from this little multi-purpose switch panel, which is cool. And then left side, nothing too crazy. Similar on the far left, but then you got an area for your satellite stereo all right so that is the front kind of cab area now next up let's look at the driver's side slide that piece of molding all the way down it goes to about right there and in this slide we have a two-seater dinette and of course your l-shaped couch now this I'm pretty sure does have an extension so we'll come out just a hair with a couple more chairs. And then you got three storage compartments above. They all should be connected as they usually are. Yep. Same concept with the ones right above the couch to our left. And then down below the dinette, as you can see, you got a couple more compartments, drawers on either side. All right. We are selling this coach for $139,995. Now, like I said, this kind of portion of the couch does tuck away and slides in. You do have to put it in when you have your slides in in travel mode. Now, you do have a sleeper. You have a jackknife for these two. So to lift up, pull out, lay flat, and make this just one massive sleeping area. And then across from us in the other slide, you have a pull-out couch. And they uh, added a piece of wood just so you can kind of keep the firmness of that actual couch. Now this slide goes from that corner all the way down, just right past that fridge there. That is, as you saw on the inverter, is a residential fridge. Now in terms of storage, you have a couple cup holders, but you got the same similar three storages up above. Decent amount of counter space in the kitchen, especially with the covers on. And then you have this just massive drawer up above here. And we'll look inside covers here in a second. I just want to give you an idea of the size of some of these here cubbies. Probably a sponge. And then there is no oven. So you have a convection microwave. This, I would assume I got to fix Oh, there we go. Fix that latch. I do. <laughs> uh. Oh, that looks nice and clean. And then, decent sized sink. And last but not least, of course, your microwave. Water and ice in the door. The fridge does have two small dents. Well, I guess technically three small dents. Right. And that 
is the galley area. Now next up, of course, your entertainment area, right before this side aisle. Bigger TV, another Sony Bravia, and then storage all throughout. Nothing too crazy deep, but you do have some storages, except for this one, which will hold your kind of satellite DVD player, whatever you're gonna put there. Now, making our way to the back, like I said, there is kind of a side aisle. So it is still accessible even when this slide to our right is in. Central back, bottom left right there. Getting a phone call. You do have daytime shades and nighttime shades. Now, before we make it into your bedroom, let's stop, turn left, and look at the bathroom. Bathroom actually quite spacious for an all-in-one. Plenty of leg room in front of the toilet. Shower is a nice big corner shower. It does have a seat in there. Looks to be a halfway decent size. Look at all the cabinetry though. That's one thing I love. All the storage. You know how many linens you can fit in here? And then there's more storage right above the toilet. Fantastic fan. And then even more storage under the sink. All right. And then last but not least, guys, your bedroom. One more slide in here for your actual mattress. As you can see, those kind of crown molding corners right there. We do have a real door to give you some separation so you can't shut that and get you a little bit more privacy. So there should be some. Under bed storage, the struts are messed up and I can't lift that with one hand because I'm weak. But we do have your full wall closet, a full stack washer and dryer. And then in front of the bed, another 32 inch Sony TV. More areas of store, DVD players, a couple of drawers. Your full stack, washer and dryer. And then last but not least, you got that final wardrobe. Does look like cedar line carpeted down below with the shoe rack or hat rack or gun rack. And you got two lights in here. So there you go. There's a quick walkthrough of this 2012 Fleetwood Discovery 40X. Now, you should know what's next. Let's get these slides in and then give you an idea how it looks while you're traveling. All right, slides are in. As you can see, the left one here, passenger side, driver side, that deep one and still completely accessible like i said you do have to put that extension in for the couch then you can walk on by got that side aisle still completely get to the bathroom to our left and then of course your bedroom could even do a little bit of laundry if you really wanted to i don't think i mentioned it but it is a king bed in here you do lose access to the couple of the drawers up here you still can't get to your main wardrobe and just hang out and watch tv so there you guys go Let's give you one last peek from the outside while in this here travel mode. I'll let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. All my info will be, all my contact info will be in the description down below, including a link to this on our website if you're interested in seeing still photos of it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment, shoot me an email, shoot me a text. All the info will be down there. Thank you so much for viewing, guys. Have a great day.